Hello everyone, welcome to The Dark Mod. This is a total conversion for Doom 3 that brings, essentially brings the Thief universe to Doom 3. And I want to thank Durver Erickson, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, uh, a viewer for recommending this to me because I probably wouldn't have heard about it otherwise. And goddamn am I glad I heard about it because so far I've played the tutorial and I am so freaking impressed with this game it's amazing. I, I've only played the I've only played the tutorial. I haven't even played a mission yet, and already I'm impressed as hell. There is so much detail to this mod, and it's so professionally done. It blows my mind. I, I could describe a bunch of stuff you can do, but rather than do that, I think I'll just show you when I get into the mission. But there is some really cool stuff in this mod, and yeah, I'll just wait until I'm in game to explain some of it. Uh, but yeah, this game, it comes with... I'm going to be playing the default mission, basically. Tears of Saint Lucia. That's what comes with the Dark Mod. However, there are a ton of missions. If you press Download Missions. Downloading Mission List from Server. Yeah. There are all of these missions that I can play. There's over 50. So... <laughs> There's an amazing amount of content out there, and I'm not going to run out anytime soon, that's for sure. So just one thing before I actually get in-game, and that's that... Talking about how good the game is already, or how good the mod is. Even the music in the menu is amazing. Hold on, if I disable the menu music and turn it back on, it'll start from the beginning. Just, just listen to like 20 seconds of it. It's incredible. That is some really good music. Yeah, this Total Conversion has made one hell of an impression on me. It's probably... It's one of the most professionally produced Total Conversions I have ever seen. Maybe THE most professionally produced. So yeah, let's get to it. My first mission, my first real mission, aside from the training mission, Tears of Saint Lucia. The Dark Mod. Which, strangely enough, is a horrible quality video, which is strange because everything else looks amazing. Weeks ago, I started hearing people talk about a church called St. Roderick's. It's a small church east of Mill Street, built back when that part of town was considered well off. Now the area is one of the city's many slums, and the church ministers to the poor who live there. Ditches, water carriers, and beggars alike. Not the kind of place I'd normally pay a visit to. But according to what I overheard at the local tavern, some kind of holy relic, the shard of the master builder's true hammer, or some such thing, found its way to the church. There's nothing like a shard of the true hammer to part a righteous fool from his money. Every market has at least one for sale. But this story is a little more interesting. Apparently, when this relic was put next to the church's statue of St. Lucia, the statue started weeping blood. Word spread, and the faithful have been flocking to the church to see it. Apparently the Archbishop himself plans to visit St. Roderick's, to witness the statue weeping and decide whether it is an authentic miracle. The local priest isn't waiting, however, and is already proclaiming to one and all that the statue is a sign from God. No surprise, the little church is suddenly making more in tithes and donations than it knows what to do with. Not everyone is happy about this miracle, though. A messenger representing an opposing interest has offered me a fair sum of money to steal this relic. That had vandalized the weeping statue before the Archbishop's visit. My bet is some rival priest is jealous at all the newfound wealth St. Roderick's is earning. I'm supposed to make it look like a common burglary, which means I can help myself to the tithe box and any other loot I can find lying around. This would be an easy job. Except that some cathedral gods are already patrolling the church in preparation. The front gate is likely to be guarded, 
So, I may have to look for a less obvious route into the church. And smashing the statue without drawing any attention is going to be a challenge in itself. I don't get the other half of the money until the job is done, however, so I'll have to come up with something. Ruin the statue without making any noise. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Okay. Alright, so it looks like we have a difficulty thing. Uh, let's see, what does that affect? Oh, it affects how much loot you need to get. 750, 1500, and ooh, Expert actually has a different objective. Don't kill anyone. Uh, what the hell, let's go for hard. I'm feeling hard today, yeah. Okay, I did not see this menu in the tutorial, so I'm not familiar with this. Starting gear. Okay, good, 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 I have 200 gold, okay. A map. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the map. Why would I not want the map? That's pretty much a given. Spyglass. Sure. I like my tools. My implements of thievery. Do I have any flash bombs? No, I don't. I will grab a couple of those. Alright. Uh, let's grab some more water arrows, definitely. Let's grab five more. Broadhead, I don't intend to use. Mm, what else could I use? I guess I'll take a couple noisemakers. Don't need fire. Do I have any moss? Nope, I will take some of those. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Start mission. The Tears of St. Lucia. Builder monks occasionally dabble in invention and mathematics, but they are not engineers. If they want complicated machinery built, they must hire the appropriate guild like anyone else. <laughs> oh, the loading bar is blood drops. God, this is so well done. You can quietly slide down ladders by holding the crouch key. I didn't know that. Yeah, there is so much cool stuff in this mod, I can't wait to show you. It's awesome. It's so awesome. <sighs> when I was loading the tutorial, though, it took like a freaking minute to load for some reason. Which is bizarre. But yeah, it seems to be taking quite a while right now. Uh, okay, so while it's loading, what can I mention? Well, it has a very detailed combat system. You can attack in four different directions and block in four different directions. It's kind of reminiscent of Mountain Blade Warband, or the whole Mountain Blade series, I guess. Which is super cool. Um, it has a new lockpicking system that I've never seen before in a game. It's not like the previous Thieves, which is interesting. Let's see, it has rope arrows and all those good things. Um, you can swing on ropes. Yes, you can actually swing on ropes. Swing, like fucking Tarzan. Okay. Mission loaded, press attack to start the mission. So yes, let's go over and demonstrate some of the things that make this mod amazing. Okay, it's great looking. It looks way better than Thief Deadly Shadows. It's really good looking. Uh, it has tons of control over what you can do. Uh, it's, the cold control scheme is very reminiscent of the original thieves, the original two thieves, where you can. Uh, did I get rid of? Yeah, I got rid of the lean forwards. But anyway, yeah, you can um, you can walk, you can sprint, you can creep, and you can do all those different speeds while crouching, of course. So normal crouch, sprint, crouch, slow crouch, or creep, as it's called. And of course, you can do the leans. And of course, you got the trusty blackjack, hit him in the back, and they are knocked out. This game, by and large, has excellent sound effects, although there's a couple that sound really bad for some reason, but most sound really good. Got my sword. Um, the bow and arrow feels really nice. Actually, it feels better than it did in any of the previous games. You know, in any of the official games. It just... There's something about it that feels really good. 
Here, let me shoot off an arrow. It feels really nice. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. I guess I'll demonstrate it when we get to it. Oh yeah, of course, you got the light gem, all that stuff. Uh, do I have a compass? Yes, I do. There's a compass. I wish the compass was integrated with the light gem, like it is in Thief Deadly Shadows, but oh well. Not a big deal. There's a spyglass. Zoom in and out. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Actually, I just realized I never had a map in the tutorial. This is actually the first time I've looked at a map in the game. Alright, does it actually show me where I am, or does that show me where I start? Um, <laughs> once again, even the Thief Total Conversion has a map that is practically useless to me. At least in the beginning, because I don't even know where I am. Yep, I don't know where I am. Oh well. And I'm, even though I've played the tutorial, I'm going to fumble with the controls quite a bit, because there are a lot of controls to remember. Like, let's see, what do I have? I can switch between the items using mouse 4 and 5 on my mouse. You use items by pressing F. Um, put away weapons by pressing tilde. There's a lot to remember. A lot to remember. I can switch between the two lockpicks using tab. I've customized some of the controls because they were bizarre before. Like, for example, by default, crouch was... Uh, it was either C or X. So yeah, there's a lot to get used to. Anyway, I... Fuck off, you stupid rats. Alright, I don't see any... Oh yeah, and I need to show you the item manipulation. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, but I don't see any guards right now. Can I pick this up? Is this manipulatable? Oh, I'm stuck. No, I can't pick any of that up. Any of that up. Yeah, there's a really cool item manipulation system. One bad, th <laughs> one bad thing, and unfortunately carries over from the first two thieves, is the door opening system, where if you stop the door from opening or closing, it just stops like this. It just stops rather than pushing you out of the way, and then you have to open and close it again to have it complete the action. So open. Oh, it stopped. Close. Open. Yeah, it's awkward. But very minor detail. Excellent dynamic lighting. <laughs> Excellent dynamic lighting, thanks to the Doom 3 engine. Okay, I can pick this up. Let me demonstrate the dynamic lighting, which looks awesome. Even though there's no soft shadows, it still looks awesome. And demonstrate some other stuff. For example, I can pick up this candle. Dynamic lighting. Take it with me. Light whatever I want. I can put it out. Uh, for some reason, if you keep pressing the... <laughs> for some reason, if you keep pressing the key to put out the candle, or anything, after it's already put out, he does this. Uh, apparently, he gets a lot of pleasure out of trying to blow out a candle that can't be blown out. I guess he likes to give blowjobs. Other cool things you can do. So you can pick up a candle, take it with you, dynamic lighting. You can put it closer, put it further away. Like, hmm. I'm just gonna pick this up. I'm gonna put it over here. And you can rotate. I'm just gonna do that. And bloop. Is that fucking awesome or what? That is so cool. Yeah, I'm not sure why uh, most of these items aren't interactable. Because most of the items, like almost all the items I encountered in the tutorial, could be picked up. So I'm not sure why these can't. It's a bit strange. Like this hat, for example. I am going to put this on. Let's see. Right there, and... See? Now I'm wearing a hat. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Uh, 
And the game is, I guess, <laughs> in the spirit of all the thieves that always seem to be too dark, and in Doom 3, which was always too dark as well, the game is too dark. And this is with the gamma turned up, by the way. Turned to 1.2, basically. Up from 1. I don't want to turn it up too much, because... Oh, hi. I don't want to turn it up too much, though, because when you turn it up really high, it starts to become hard to tell where the shadows are. Which hurts the gameplay, because you need to hide in the shadows, being a thief and all. What the fuck? Okay, there's flies and there's bloodstains all over the floor. What happened in there? And how do I get there? Doesn't appear that I can open the door. Alright, well, you're a stupid drunkard. Um, one thing I don't know is whether you have to hit an enemy in the back of the head. Okay, there's a couple things I don't know. Can you? Do you have to hit the enemy in the... That's a big rat. Uh-huh. Yep. Still a rat, Do you have to hit them in the back of the head to knock them out? And also, can you knock out a person who is sitting down? Because I found that in Thief Deadly Shadows, you have to hit them from the back, and if they're sitting down, you just can't knock them out. So, let's find out. And also, is it going to see me? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't think the blackjack really made contact with him, but that works. I'll take it. So yes, you can do some interesting stuff with bodies in physics. If you just right-click on them, as if you're picking up an object, you can't really pick them up. They just kind of slide on the ground. But if you then use them while they're picked up, you can actually take them with you. And then go... Plop. <laughs> Oh, I love the way, for some reason, the physics in this game seem to have, like, double the Earth gravity. They fall like a stone, and that combined with that nice plop noise just sounds wonderful. I don't know if I'm ever going to get enough of this. <laughs> just thud. Sounds painful. And what's really fun to do is this. Oh, yeah. Oh, the floor feels so nice. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, fun with physics. Hold on a second. I've got to do something. It's a shame I can't pick them up. All right. Um. I'm going to re I'm going to create a scene here. So if anyone comes across him, they're not going to find it suspicious. So, he's going to be passed out in the doorway. With a hat on. Perfect. He was a simple rice farmer that came home and tripped in the doorway. All right, what have we got in here? Oop, better put this back where I found it. And I can do that. It, 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 it. Well, okay, close enough. Yeah, the one strange thing about the whole candle system is that it doesn't seem like you can put them out without picking them up first. So if it's on a table like this and you have to pick it up, there's a pretty good chance it's going to go... Pretty good chance it's going to go clank against a bunch of other stuff. Because if you pick it up like here, if you just right click, it kind of teleports. So it's a little bit awkward. Oh yes! Something else that's super fucking cool that you can do. Look at this. Watch this. I'm going to have a nice candlelight dinner. It's a shame that this candle went out. If only there was a way to... Light it! It's, is that not amazing? Look at that. There you go. Now the bloody room has light. This mod is a ma- Oh, it just went out. Whoops. 
Yeah, I think if it's like sideways or something for a while, it'll go out. All right. Got some garlic, got some cheese. I think that's cheese. I hope that's cheese, because if it's not, then something's wrong. Ooh, my first loot. Yes, and there is that grapple system. All right, what have we got here? Uh, F to read, right? I think I... Yeah, you cycle through the item, and you can read it by pressing F. Okay. Um... Okay, that's all great, but the only problem is I can't really read cursive, so I have no idea what that says. Something, something, your help, something. Well, that's great. Here you go. If you want to pause, here's the first page. Here's the second page. And here's the third page. Signed, John. Yes, message from John. In text I can't read. But yeah, actually, that highlights something very cool. The note system. Look at how cool it looks. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Wonderful paper. I, I'm i assuming this is all automatically generated. Like, you just type in the text. I don't think these are actually separate, like, images that are being displayed. I think it's all dynamic. And if there's a folded corner to the page, that means you can uh, flip the page. So you see there's a folded corner in the top right, so I can go to the next page. Now there's a folded corner on the left and the right, which means I can go back, or I can go forwards again. With the scroll wheel, by the way. Just really, really cool. I don't believe I have drop item set as a key, so I don't think I can drop any of this stuff. Hold on, let's get some more light here. Actually, I think I have I think I have a lantern, don't I? Yeah, I have my own lantern. Never mind, screw this. Yes, that's right. You have a lantern. No stupid freaking glow sticks. You have a lantern. And a hooded lantern at that. Which, now that I look at it, doesn't really seem very hooded, actually. Unless, maybe I'm, maybe hooded lantern means something different. It, I thought a hooded lantern is one that's made for thieves, and it has, it's like blocked off so that it only, so that the light only goes in front of you. Therefore, remaining relatively stealthy and not revealing what you look like. You know, remaining about as invisible as you can while holding a lantern. Maybe that's something other than a hooded lantern. I'm not sure. Anyway. Alright, so can this not be opened? The door looks like it could break with, like, a stiff breeze. But I can't open it. Is there another way in there? Oh, there is, but it can't be opened. Okay. Continuing on. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Just a second. Excuse me. Alright, gotta move that. Oh, no I don't. Oh, hi, rat. Hold on. Gotta test my archery. Eh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're killable. They're not only killable, but they have wonderful, I think, ragdoll physics? Yeah, they have ragdoll physics. Whoa, calm down. Whoa, calm down. Jesus. No reason to get so excited. <laughs> It's alive. It, it just squeaked at me. It's moving. What the hell? Um. What the fuck is going on? Die. Ugh. Fucking slam it against the wall. Where'd you go? The fuck? It stops moving when I put it down.
I don't like this. Die. Die. Stab it. Okay, hold on. Let me make the scene back there a little bit more believable. Alright, simple rice farmer came home. Maybe he was drunk or something. Tripped in the doorway, right? I mean, pretty common. And... But, of course, they're going to ask. They're going to have an investigation, right? They're going to say, what did he trip over? There's nothing in this doorway. There's absolutely nothing in this doorway. What could he have tripped on? This seems unbelievable. It must have been thievery. But no, I'm going to solve that right now. I'm going to plant the evidence. Calm down, rat. Calm down. Cal calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, rat. It's okay. I'm going to plant the evidence that finishes the scene. So when they investigate, they're going to know exactly what happened. Okay. He tripped on a rat. A simple rice farmer came home, tripped on a rat in the doorway, killed the rat, and fell flat on his face, and went unconscious. See? Perfectly plausible. What the fuck? Why won't you die? Okay, what was I doing? Right, so do I know where I am? Where am I? Living quarters, privy, priest's room, am I even on here? Oh, this is... Wait a minute, this is for inside of the church. I'm not even... I'm not in the church, obviously. So, yeah, that's completely in inapplicable. Is that the right word? Inapplicable? Unapplicable? What's the word? I don't know. That is a very wordy article. Wow, that, that's like 2,000 words right there. Some meaty text. Alright, so thankfully... Thankfully, with all the tools you have at your disposal in the Dark Mod, you have many options with how to proceed. A lot of options. Way more than you had in Thief Deadly Shadows. So I don't think verticality is going to be a limit. Like right now, for example, there is a window up there. So how do I get there? Well, um... Good question, what do I have? Do I have a rope arrow? I do not have a rope arrow. Nope, but I might be able to jump up. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Let's make some light for myself. No one else here, so no matter. Just place it on the bed. Perfect. Let's get another one. Hold on. Yeah. Perfect. That is so cool. Oh, That's just amazing. I love that. Whoops. Uh, okay, fire hazard. Um, there is a candle under the bed. Okay, it went out. It's fine. Ooh. Can I read that? A message to... Perry? Perry? Not sure how you pronounce that. Okay, this one I can read. To my faith faithful and patient wife. Fortune smiled on me today. There's, there's some weird spacing in the text that makes it a little bit hard to read. Um, Fortune smiled on me today. Yes, I know you would have me say it was God, and mayhaps they have both heard my prayers. While I walked to work today, I passed a wagon that had struck a dog in the street and thrown a wheel. There was a number of swordsmen, there were a number of swordsmen with the cart, and I saw in it the emblem of the Fletcher's Guild. The, the dog shrieked like a child left too close to the hearth, and in the commotion, men lifting the wagon back up onto its wheel, one swordsman dispatching the dog and nearby merchants yelling about the blood spraying their tunics, I noticed a few arrows had fallen from the wagon. Not regular hunting arrows, mind, but the special ones the brigades use for putting out fires. I could work for a month and afford not a one. I don't know what I, st I don't know what stirred my blood, 
but in an instant I leapt forward and grabbed the nearest arrows, stuffing them under my tunic and walking quietly away. One of the guards spotted me, however, and I was forced to run for my life. I dropped one of... I dropped one or two arrows in my flight, and I think he stopped to retrieve them rather than chase me further, for when I had turned one or two more corners, I saw that I was safe. I still had a few arrows left. Think of the coin they could fetch, and what we could buy. We will need to hide them for a short while, for the swordsman may know my face and might want... and might warn merchants about someone with only a few arrows to sell. But in a week or so, I should be safe to take them to a pawn shop. It is said the water inside the arrow arrows never goes dry. Hide them somewhere secret, not in the house, lest some visit lest some visitors see them and expose us as thieves. Okay. So there are water arrows hidden somewhere but not in the house. That's good to know, but it doesn't really help me because it doesn't tell me where they are. But at least I know where they are. I mean at least I know they exist. And I'd like to, again, just mention how awesome the note system is. There's multiple kinds of notes. There's books, there's, like, the note that I had before, and then there's this, where it's like a scroll. Each one is dynamic. Where it shows you, using, like, the folded part, you can see if you can scroll down or up more. It's really, really cool. I'm so impressed. Alright, in the interest of safety, let me just... Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think that's safe. Oh, can't open that. What the... F um... Please tell me that's mud. It's either mud or blood. And if it's blood, then I guess this person is a serial killer? You know what? I'm gonna fuck with this person. One boot. <laughs> It'll be a mystery for the ages. Now, how do I get out of here without breaking my legs? Okay, that works. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Alright, continuing on. Hey, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Hold on. Perfect. I gotta remember to look up. In fact, there's a window, but I don't see a way in. Is that just... Was that in the room? That was probably in the room. Whoa. Holy shit, that was loud. <laughs> Apparently walking across water sounds like you're punching it. What the hell? What? What just made that noise? Yeah, those water sound effects sound, uh, well, aside from extremely loud, they also sound strange. They sound like someone recorded themselves playing with water in a bowl. They don't really sound like you're walking through it. It sounds like someone's slushing around in a bowl. Holy crap, you can actually read the text. See the miracle, the statue of Saint Lucia weeps for us all. A true miracle in our time, soon to be confir confirmed by the Archbishop himself. The church welcomes your donations to prepare for the visit of his eminence. <laughs> can you read that? Nope. What is that? Something flora 
Grundig Shuggle Flug. I don't even know what the hell that is. Uh, play, maybe? I don't know. What is that? Alright, there's someone there, but it looks like there's no one looking. I gotta remember to look up. What is that? Oh, there's a guard. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, that's loud. Um, before I move that, let me see if I can lockpick this. Nope, I guess it's unlock pickable. <sighs> Alright, this is gonna make a lot of noise, but screw it. Okay, good. No one in here. Yeah, sorry if it's hard to see. I guess I could turn the go. <laughs> I guess I could turn the gamma up a bit. I don't know if I should. Hold on. Alright, it's 1.2. Try 1.3. Alright, 1.3 is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just at some point, you can't see where the shadows are. Like here. You know, this corner... Um, are you okay? You sound like you're dying. Like this corner, for example, doesn't look all that dark, but I am in full darkness. Hold on, let me see if taking taking this out affects my light level. It does not. Okay. So yeah, just like in the original Thieves, um, if you have a weapon out, it affects your light level. However, I, it doesn't look like that applies to the Blackjack. So for example, look at my light gem. Take out the sword. Goes up. Same with the bow. However, I don't think the Blackjack does anything. No. Blackjack does not increase light level. Alright, let's fuck with you. Water arrow. Which, by the way, I would like to point out, have amazing, beautiful shaders. Look at that thing. Look at that orb. It's like, it's like there's a vortex of water swimming inside of it. Um. Okay, the tutorial mentioned that you should shoot the water arrows so that the mist mists down on the flame source. I'm not sure how far it goes down, though. So, like, should I hit the ceiling or should I directly hit it? Let me try the ceiling. Okay, it works. Excellent. <clears throat> There's probably nothing I even need in here. But what the hell? Nice and slow. Nice. Uh, let me save it. Nice. Whoa, what the hell? Nice. Eh, I'm stuck. Hold on, hold on. Uh, mm. <coughs> Alright, fuck it. Nice and slow. Perfect. Ooh. Broadhead arrow. By the way, just from the tutorial, shooting someone in the head with an arrow is incredibly satisfying. It's not something I really want to do, because I like to play a, a fully stealthy, no-killing playthrough, but... I should do it just for the fun of it, just to show you how satisfying it is. It's it's amazing. Alright, is there anything up here? I could... I could maybe get up there. Was there a box back here? There's a box, but I can't pick it up. Can I pick this up? Nope. Let me see if I can jump. No, I don't think you're supposed to get up there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that is so cool.
I hope the guards don't react to seeing light, but only react to seeing me in the light. Because they might see the light, but they shouldn't be able to see me. Wait, is there something down there? Hold on, let me just move that over there. And I'll just put it that way because I can. I love item manipulation in game. In games. It's so cool. It's so satisfying. It just adds a whole new dimension to the game world. You know, to make you feel like you're part of it. To make you... It's really important in a game, obviously, to make you feel like you're actually part of the world. And to actually... And one good way to make you feel like you're a part of the world is being able to actually exert influence and change the world. And one really cool way to do that that unfortunately is not very common in games, is the ability to manipulate objects. We can just pick up random stuff and move it however you want, and put it down or throw it or whatever. Like this, like, if you, like, the fact that I had to uh, pick up that board to open that door, or, I'm presuming this is gonna open, right? Oh, it's locked. Okay. The fact that I had to actually pick all of this refuse up off of that hatch to get it open is a thousand times more satisfying than if, like, you just went up to it and it was like a... You just had, like, an action key or something and, like, press E and, it, like, all the stuff moves or something like that. Or however the hell you do it. I don't know how you do it, but... Just the fact that I actually picked it up myself and manually moved it makes it so satisfying. It's awesome. What? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Okay, so let's do the lock picking. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. This cannot be lock picked. This needs a key. That door doesn't work. Um, can I move those boards? I suspect I can. Yes, I can. I still can't get over how freaking impressed I am with this mod. This is amazing. This is better. So far, this is better than any of the Thief games. A total conversion. Better than any of the Thief games. I That blows me away. I like it more than any of the Thief games. Three professionally produced commercial titles. And I like the total conversion more. That's amazing. And that's not to say I didn't like the thieves, I love them, but this I like even more. Is, is that a partially eaten carrot? Interesting. Well, I'll take that. Huh. It appears my mouth is malfunctioning. Oh well. Alright, um, I have 95. How much do I need? Wasn't it like 150? I actually don't know how to access the objectives. Controls... There's a lot of controls. Run... Actions... No. Mm, nope. General? Objectives. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, 1500. Find the ornate box. It is kept in and take it with you. Alright, so we need to find the relic that makes the statue weep. And find a way to damage the statue of St. Lucia. Alright, well unfortunately I did not find a key. Although I suspect it might be hidden in the area. But... I don't see it, so, oh well.
I really hope these are dirt stains that I keep seeing and not blood. I suspect they're blood. Yeah, and <laughs> just like Thief Deadly Shadows, this total conversion has the odd knack of suddenly dipping down to 30 FPS. From like 60 to 30. Even though... Even though it is a good looking game. Very good looking. But it's not something that should be going down to 30 FPS. And yes, I do have VSync disabled. Alright, I saw a guard here a while ago. Where did he go? Actually, I don't know if that was a guard. I saw a person. What is that? Hmm. It must be a bar called The Sheep. They were feeling very uncreative that day. What is that? Is that a note? Ooh. Message from Sophie? A lover's note, maybe? A secret note? John. Oh, this is to John, who said something that I couldn't read. John, you were right. Gar found a hole in the floor in the old Wellesley place that collapsed a few years back. You climb down it and you wind up in the old sewers. He hunted rats down there, but now grumbles. He's practically cleaned them all out. He's put a trap door over it with a padlock to keep people out, but he keeps the key on himself. I got him to come back tomorrow for another drink. I'll get him upstairs again and sneak the key out when he's busy. I'll drop it in a pot and set it out on my window ledge above the bear and belcher. It's high, so you'll have to knock it off somehow. It's in a pot. On the window ledge above the bear and belcher. Okay, so where is that? I don't suppose that's on here. Nope, that is for inside. Great, the sound of someone screaming in the distance. Wonderful. Being super loud, but I don't think there's anyone to hear. Alright, did I already encounter it, or is it ahead of me? I think it's ahead of me. Yeah, it's probably up here. Wait, I can't go in here, can I? There's an awful lot of notices here. Right, where did that person go? There was someone here. I saw them. There's another one of these things. What What are these? Mysterious alien artifacts. Hmm. Well, before I continue, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And my voice is failing me. I can feel it. Every word is harder and harder to say. Because I've been recording on average probably like three, maybe four hours. For quite a while now. For at least three days straight. And it's taking its toll on my voice. It just, it feels harder and harder to actually talk. And especially the low-end stuff, like if I talk down like this, starts to feel very hard to say, and it starts to sound really scratchy. <clears throat> Come on, voice. Uh, wake up. Wake up, voice. Ah. Okay, what was I doing? Um, stuff. I was doing stuff. Yes, definitely doing stuff. Stuff is good. Stuff and things. <laughs> uh, don't you don't you love it when you say like over bump mapped or over normal mapped stuff? Where it's like so It's like so extreme that everything looks like it's been I don't know. 
sharpened. Like, look at this. Look at this handle. Like, what the fuck is that made out of? Like, has it been partially dissolved in acid? That handle looks like if you grabbed it, it would slice your hand in a thousand different places. I would not want to touch that handle. I wonder if it wouldn't hurt my voice as much if I constantly talked in a really low pitch. I don't know. Maybe it's better if I talk like this. I don't know. That doesn't. No, no, that doesn't feel good. Maybe it's better if I talk at a really high pitch. Nope, that's definitely not good either. Nope, nope, nope. What is this? See the miracle. The holy Saint Lucia weeps for us all. A true miracle. Forget thee not to tithe. Of course, money. Yeah, this is the one note system in the mod that looks very strange. Like, when it pops up, it looks fine, but the fact that it kind of, like, follows you around and shifts when you move, like this, that just looks weird. Like, hey, want to get sick and be totally disoriented? Try to read that. Try to read it. Come on. Read it. Ugh. Anything up here? I think I'm looking at the void out of the level, so I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. Let's continue. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's not for me to question Brother Reynold, but it doth seem that there is not but rats and beggars to guard against. Oh shit. Oh shit. Not good. Not good. Not good. Um, do I have anything to stun? Do I have a... Um, hold on. Items, items, items. I do have a flash bomb. Okay, I think I'm good. Whew. Note to self, be more patient. Ah, shit, he's got a torch. Okay, I think he's turning around. Hold on, let me signal him. Nope, he didn't get my signal. God, this is so good looking. Alright, I need to hide behind something quickly. Let's go here. Oh, oh shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect. When he comes back, I will bash him in the back of my head. Uh, I, I will bash him in the back of my head. Yes, that is a sentence that makes sense. I will bash him in the back of my head. Uh, getting out of here is going to be a bit difficult. And now I'm stuck. Shit. Give me out, give me out, give me out. Oh, not good. Okay, I think I'm actually stuck for good. Uh, let me load. Hopefully reloading... Oh, no, it does not. I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't take forever. I'm stuck again. Thankfully, it's a mercifully short loading time. I should have never have come here. Okay, there we go. Let me save. Alright, he's gonna come back at some point, and I can hide behind a gravestone. There's truly no better way to respect the dead than use their... use their tombstone as a hiding place to hit someone in the back of the head and steal stuff.
That guard has a very long patrol path. Alright, what do we got here? Nothing. Looks like an explosion went off here. There's scorch marks. What do mine eyes hear? Be it a man or beast? Man, dynamic lighting adds so much to the Thief series. Okay, I hear the other guard back there. I think it's best to wait for him. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to come back. Let me wait behind this. Let's read this while we wait. May thy works endure. Something, something. I don't want to sprint up to him because you'll probably hear me, although I'm not I'm not sure. I want to wait until he stops. Right, is there anyone else here? Anyone else gonna see me? Just please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Yeah, he's faster than me when I'm not sprinting. Please don't shit. Hand, heart, and hammer. I do serve the Lord Builder. Have at thee. I could try out I could demonstrate the arrow system. Um hold on, let me see if I can ditch him. What if I did this? Prepare to meet thy maker. There is some wisdom in thy fear. Did did you just fucking throw a rock at me? You colossal dick. Try it again. Come on, try it again. Oh, you think that's funny? You think that's funny, huh? Throwing a rock at my face. Well, how about I reciprocate in kind? With hand, heart, and hammer, I do serve the Lord Builder. Have at thee. <sighs> well, that escalated quickly. And now I've demonstrated the arrow system, which is incredibly satisfying thanks to the ragdoll physics and the disturbing noise. Uh, uh, apparently I shot him through his hair. But it's also pretty disturbing and I don't want to do it. So yeah, I'm just going to be more careful in the future. Uh, use, there we go. Can I grapple and jump? No, you can't really jump while holding a body, which makes sense. Alright, just put him there. You don't have a key on you, do you? No, no key. Okay. Huh, so I still need the pot. Where was that? This? Drop it in a pot and set it out on my window ledge above the bear and belcher. Well, I don't think that's going to be around here. I mean, it might be, so I'm going to look. But I'm pretty sure it's not. No, it's not going to be here. There's someone walking in there. I suppose that's an entrance, but I really do want that key. 
Going in through the sewers sounds like more fun. <clears throat> Can I go through the front door? I guess I could, but I don't want to. Because that's very unthief like Okay, I think I can get him. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. God damn it. That's alright, I'm feeling out the game. Feeling it up. Seeing how it works. Oh, you don't you fucking throw a rock at me. Okay, he lost me. Um, actually, I think I have a noise arrow, don't I? I do. Oh, fuck off. Alright, you know what? Since I'm getting used to the game and I'm testing out the stuff, let me demonstrate the sword... Oh, what the fuck? Let me demonstrate the sword fighting system. Why did I just float? Um... Okay, uh, let me test the block. Okay, there we go. Directional blocking, by the way. If you block in the wrong direction like that, you are gonna die. Oh shit, I did not mean to put that out. I mean, put that away. Uh, I gotta stab him around! Okay, that went well. <laughs> Let me demonstrate it again. Right, so directional blocking. Why am I floating? What the fuck? Uh, okay. You need to block in the direct, correct direction. Uh, come on, come on, gamma. Uh. Uh. Yeah, it's really hard when they're wearing armor, so it's probably best to just shoot them in the face. That is sickeningly, disgustingly delightful. It's really disturbing, though. Ugh. Huh, okay, now let's stop killing people. Let's be a thief. Alright, windowsill. Above the something... The oxen... Belch... Something. Windowsill, windowsill... Where art thou, windowsill? It's not... It's not that thing, is it? No, that's a lamp. I mean, this is where I found the note, but it's got a picture of a sheep, which makes me think it's not the place. Where the hell is this thing? It's not like all the way back at the beginning, is it? Shut up, baby. Oh, wait a minute, is that... That's it, okay. Yeah, the Baron Belch. Alright, so I need to throw something at it. Um... Or wait a minute, could I just shoot it? Actually, wait, I only have two arrows left, no. Oh, here we go. Whoops. 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 Okay, it's not heavy enough. The more you know, the less an ass of yourself you make. I don't think this is the ideal shape for this. I guess I could try throwing it like this. Uh, come on. 
I am not giving up. Oh, come on, that was a direct hit. Alright, I need something else. Ooh, the boot. Come with me, and you'll see. Absolutely nothing, because you don't even have any eyes. Wait, where'd the, where'd the boot go? Um. Oh, there it is. Come on. Come on. Okay, maybe I should use the arrow. Come on. Mm. Too high, too low. Hit it, but didn't hit it off. Ugh, I'm just pushing it further in. Can't grab that, can't grab that. We are gonna get this. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, much better. Old battle lock key. Alright, where was that? Somewhere back here. Was it in here? Um, nope. Okay, here we go. Uh, 